Hey guys, what's up? It's James. I'm here with Victoria today. So I'm going to take you through a back workout and I'm going to show you guys how to push the failure and we're just going to get into it. So first exercise we're going to do is a lat straight arm pull down. So on the first set of every exercise, you're not going to go super heavy and it's to warm up the muscle that you're trying to work. So she's not going super heavy right now. So this exercise, you want to get a big stretch and then you want to contract at the bottom, right? And you want to keep your arms straight. The exercise is called a straight arm pull down, right? And the second you start bending your elbows, you're going to, you're going to start engaging your tricep. Keep your arms straight and really elongate and then you're going to contract it. It's perfect. Three more. Two more. One more, perfect. Okay, take a rest. It's perfect. Perfect, my back, yeah? Yeah, your back is really good. She's always staying in shape all year round, I love it. And she's not even a competitor, but she acts like a pro all the time. I am a pro. So for your back, it's very simple. You wanna get a very big stretch on every exercise you do, and you wanna contract all the way. You don't have to go crazy weights, nothing, but you wanna be pushing to failure. The first set of every exercise, you're gonna do a test set, right? A warm up set. You're not gonna go, like we're not gonna go this into like a lap pull down or like a row and go like her max weight. The first set is, is a test set. You're gonna test some weight, make sure the movement feels good, and then you're gonna increase the weight. So this is our first exercise. So we're not going crazy. First set, warm up. Second set, warm up. The first set, pretty light. Second set, we're gonna go a little bit heavier just to make sure that she's feeling the muscle, getting some blood circulation in the lat. And, and getting her warmed up. And then we're gonna start pushing a lot heavier. So she's gonna put a little bit heavier here. Good, go ahead. Her form is impeccable on the exercise. So she's getting a really big stretch and then she's contracting here, right? She's not engaging her traps at all. She's not engaging her triceps at all. It's all in the lat. Perfect. I'm holding the top a little bit to add a little bit more weight at the top to make it a little bit harder for her. Give me two more. One more. So we're working these muscles right here on the sides. Give me one more. Good stuff. It got harder when you put your hand. Yeah. So these are not the failure, right? They're still warm-up sets. So I'm not pushing to fail yet. I just want to get some blood in the muscle first. I'm going to show you how to do this exercise. So if it's too heavy, you're gonna start, you're gonna start, the second your elbows start bending, it's too heavy. So this is gonna be triceps. You don't wanna do this, this is triceps. Full stretch, back up, and then all the way down. Stretch the lats, all the way down. The arm stays straight. You're never bending your elbows. Second you're bending, bending your elbows, engaging triceps, and then you're defeating the whole purpose of the exercise, which is to train your lats. So now we're gonna go a little bit heavier. You're, you're warmed up a little bit? Yep. Good. I'm already warm. Okay, so she's rolling her shoulders a little bit forward, so the weight might be a little bit too heavy. Now it's better. So the best way to keep perfect form, keep your chest exaggerated and very high all the time on every exercise. You want to arc your lower back, keep your chest up, and you're going to have much better form on everything. Good, keep going. Good. Stretch. Pull, pull, pull. Don't roll your shoulders, just up. Two more, two more. One more. Pull, good. Good. This exercise, if you still, as I was saying before, if you start rolling your shoulders forward, it's too heavy. So she, at the end, you're kind of going like this. And if you start rolling your shoulders forward on any exercise that you do, it means you're incorporating other body parts into the exercise. So she's rolling her shoulders forward. Now she's putting her arms into it. Her traps are trying to take over. So you want to keep impeccable form on every exercise you do in the gym. So you're always able to target the muscle that you're actually trying to train. The second you ruin your form, that means your body is trying to compensate with other muscle groups. That's not what you want to do. So we're going to do one more set on this. I like to do maybe five to six exercises per muscle group and around four sets each. So we're going to go a little bit heavier. I'm going to help her. Heavier? Yeah, yeah, a little bit heavier. So look, wait, last, uh, last what you can do is, so I can help her on the way down, right? When she's contracting, I can help her because that's going to be the harder part. But on the way up, if I let go, she's going to have the full stack of weights on the stretch, right? And it's super important to stretch on the lat. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Go ahead. I don't really so I'm gonna help you on the way down. Yeah. Go. It's heavy, but I'm gonna help you on the way down. Good, so I help her, and then on the way up, it's all her. So she, she has the full weight on the stretch. Help her on the way down, good. Very good. 
And on latch, you're gonna make a lot of your gains on the stretching movement. So the way down is gonna be a little bit lighter for her, and the way up is gonna be heavy. <sighs> Just chest up, don't roll your shoulders. Oh, fuck it. Good. I can't. Go. Three more, three more. One more. One more, one more. One more. Okay, and Picard, push. relax this voice, sound like a little caveman. But yeah, but that was, you put like you fucking like caveman, two extra. You relax. He put, Think you're, Ronnie you're crazy? The next exercise we're gonna do is barbell rows. So once again, first set, we're testing out the weight, testing out the form, making sure everything feels good so she doesn't get injuries. Yep. So go ahead, we can do, you can do it on this, you can do this on Smith machine, you can do it with a weighted bar depending on how strong you are. But for this, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it on the free bar. If you wanna get a lot more out of your back exercises too, she doesn't have it, but if you have straps on, yeah. you're gonna be able to lift a lot heavier and feel your backs because the issue if you don't have straps is your forearms are gonna take over, biceps are gonna take over, so you're not gonna be able to lift as much weight as your back because your back's a much bigger muscle. She doesn't have straps today, but I really would encourage you guys to get straps and wear them while you're training back. Yep. Also, she's a bad egg. She doesn't have a, a belt on, but wear a belt. I don't know why she doesn't have one. Overhand but... or underhand? So you can do overhand or underhand. I would try both and see which one you feel better. Some people like overhand better than underhand, but try both. Today we're gonna do overhand. Actually, we're gonna do both. We'll do two, two, okay. and we'll see. So first set, once again, no weight on the bar. The bar's 45 pounds on its own. So we're gonna see how she feels. You bend over a little bit more. This exercise is super important that you stay like at a 90 degree or like at least like 80 degrees. If you go too high, you're gonna engage all your traps and then it's too heavy too. Relax the traps, bend over. Good. I want you to keep, you wanna keep your elbows closer to your body. Yeah, keep your elbows, as far. drive your elbows into your hips like this, keep it close. Good. And keep, they bent over. The second your body starts going upwards like this, it's because your traps are strong and your body, you're gonna to want to take over your traps. So if you stay at 90 degrees, you're forcing your body to engage your lats. And just pull the bar into your hips. Good, with your elbows. Keep your elbows close, as close as you can. Tuck your elbows close in. Good, chest up. Good, two more. One more. Perfect, drop it. How does it weight? It's great. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Did you think go a little bit heavier or no? A little bit, but not too much because I'm not using any momentum to lift the weight. Yeah, so performance really impeccable, yeah. It's like, I'm not pushing like yeah, this, you, you know, I'm not using my hips to hinge or whatever. It's really just the bar that I'm rolling on my thighs. Let me show them something. So, yeah, go ahead. So perfect form on this would be, as she was doing it, 90 degrees. Keep your butt out, your chest up. Always keep your chest up. And then drive your elbows into your hips like this. Drive your elbows into your hips. Okay? Mistakes, people, it goes too heavy. They go up a little bit more, they go like this. Then it's all my traps, it's all my traps. You're not working your lots anymore. And as a bikini athlete, you don't want to be building your traps, right? Because then it's going to hurt your posing and ruins your symmetry and it's not cute, so. I feel like to keep a good form, I need to keep that weight. We can keep this weight. I want to just do underhand and see if, yeah. see, uh, sure. see if you like that better. Underhand, same thing. Same uh, angle of your chest, same angle of your whole body and drive your elbows into your hips. You might be able to go a little bit lighter on the, on the underhand because it's going to take a lot more biceps. And your biceps are definitely weaker than your back. So in your body, there's a chain, right? So you have the weight, goes into your forearm, goes into your bicep. With the straps, you're, you're gonna be basically removing this part of your body from the exercise. You're gonna be removing your forearms and your bicep so you can put the strain and pressure on your back. And you can lift with only your back. Keep your chest over. Two more. Two more. One more. Okay, drop it. How do you feel that? That was better. I can put heavier on the underhand okay. than overhand. Do you feel, do you feel stronger on the underhand? Yes. Do you feel your lats more on the overhand or underhand? I would say, I would say both. 50-50? Yeah, 50 Yeah, try 50. both. I mean, either way you're engaging your lats. And if you want to do both, do like, you could do like, let's say you do four sets, do two, two overhand, two underhand, or you could do like one week overhand or one week underhand, like just change it up, just hit your lats in a little bit differently, but your back is very simple to train. Pull downs and rows. That's all, if you just had like straight on, if you just had like a lap pull down machine and like a, a row machine, you can get your back to be huge. You don't need too yeah. many fancy things. You don't gotta be fancy with the back. So we're gonna try overhand again. We'll keep the same way for now, I like your form. Yeah, it's good. I feel like I have a good. Yeah, the best, the most important thing though, for this, 90 degrees, you don't wanna be engaging your traps and keep, tuck your elbows into your hips. Keep it as close as you can. 
Elbows a little bit closer, sir. Good. Where your elbows at 90. You don't want to flare your elbows out like this. Keep your elbows in, tucked in. That's good. No, that's good. I think stretch more, should Stretch at the bottom. Stretch, stretch. Good. There you go. Go up. Now stretch all the way down. Stretch all the way down. Go, Chris. There you go. So you get an even bigger stretch, right? You bring your scapula forward, stretch down, and then you can get an even bigger contraction. Perfect. Good. Three more. Two more. One more. That will help you. Stay bent over. Go. Four. Three. Two. One. Two more. Two more. Elbows in. Hold it. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, one more and squeeze the top. Boom. One more and squeeze the top. Go. Squeeze. Hold it. Okay, put it down. You see at the end, she was lifting her chest up a little bit, and then it was all her trash at the end at the top. Yeah. So that means it was too heavy and she went to failure. The second you start lifting your chest up and you start engaging your traps, it means you went to failure and you need to stop. Because you, you're not training your lats anymore. So last set on this one, it's gonna be four, four sets on this exercise. We're gonna do underhand. Perfect. Really good. Bend over a bit more, sweetie. There you go. Come here, come on this side, I wanna show you. Keep going. Keep going, I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Bend over, keep stay bent over. So I'm gonna show, this form is perfect, but you're gonna see the, the longer she goes, the more reps she does, her back is gonna start lifting up and she's gonna start engaging her traps automatically because her body's gonna to want to compensate with her traps. Keep going. Keep going. You see, see how her chest is lifting now? That's bad, okay, stop now, stop. The second your chest starts lifting too much and you really can't lift anymore with just your lats, you're gonna stop because you don't wanna start engaging your traps. Good. And your body's smart. Your body wants to make whatever you're doing as easy as possible, right? So it's gonna utilize muscle groups that you're not actually training to be able to move the weight. You wanna go against what your body's kept trying to do and force your body to work only the muscles that you're trying to train that day. Next exercise we're gonna do is a staple. It should be in basically all of your back training. So we're gonna do a lat pull down. Once again, you could do overhand, underhand grip, but once again, you should also use straps on this exercise. You're gonna get a lot more out of it. She doesn't have straps today, but just for the future, it's definitely a good idea. First set is gonna be a warm set. Test the weight, test the feeling, make sure the form, everything is good. Then the last three are gonna be ball to the wall. I'm gonna kill her on these ones. Good. Same thing, you see she gets a full stretch, full contraction, then she stretches all the way. Good. Keeps her arms straight all the way at the top so to get a full stretch. Perfect, good. And for the contraction, she's leaning back a little bit, but then she's lifting her chest at the top to get a full stretch, which is exactly how you should be doing this exercise. Good. How does the weight? It's light, but that's good though. Warm up set. Give me four more. Give me two more. One more. Good. This exercise too, depending on your, the length of your arms and how you feel. You might want to go wider, you might want to go a little bit shorter, you can even go reverse too. Same thing. Almost on, on every pull down or row exercise, you can do a overhand grip or reverse grip. Just test both, if you like them both, do both. No problem, today we're gonna do overhand and we won't do, we won't do underhand, we're gonna focus on the overhand. So you can see that the first set, the warm set, the weight was a little bit too light, right? So we can definitely go heavier. And you wanna always aim for between like 12 to 15 reps, where the last rep of your set is to absolute failure, where you can't even lift the weight anymore, right? If you can do 20 reps without struggling, it's not heavy enough, you should increase your weight. So you wanna do between like eight to 15 reps, where in that range, you can't complete a full rep, right? But then if you wanna go over 15, you can do half reps. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So it's pretty heavy now. One, good, I'm gonna help her though. One, two, good. Full stretch, good. Three, good. Six, good. Keep going. Seven, keep going. Eight, good. Nine. I want you to fail on your own. Fail on your own. Nine. Pull, pull, pull. One more. This is, is going to be failure right here. So she's going to fail at 10. Go. 
You see us not able to really fully complete the last rep? 10? <laughs> one more, one more, one more, one more. Go, go. Okay, she can. Right, that's perfect. So if she failed at 11, she did 11 full reps, and she couldn't possibly lift the weight anymore. She couldn't do 12, she couldn't do 13. She was stuck here, and that's, that was failure. How do you yeah. feel? That was failure. failure. If she was able to do a couple more, that's not failure. That, that means, so she couldn't complete the last rep of that set. She failed at 11, which is between the 8 to 15 range. That's failure, that's perfect. And she kept her form the entire time too, which was important. Yeah. Perfect form, you fail in the last rep of your set between the 8 to 15 range, and that's really good. But if you're training with someone or on two exercises you can do alone, you can incorporate some half reps too, I'm gonna show you. So she can go past that, that point of failure and really enter the gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. We did the second set, right? The weight was perfect. She fell right between the range. So I'm not gonna increase the weight, there's no point. It's at 70, it's at 80, 80 pounds right now. Keep the weight the same. And I'm gonna let her get to almost failure on her own. And then, I'm gonna, then what we're gonna do, Vic, is we're gonna do half reps at the bottom. Can we just empty the gas tank? Okay, go ahead. Perfect. Perfect contraction, perfect stretch, good. Look at those lats, come look at those lats. Good. Five or six? Six. Good. Seven, keep going. I'm not really helping her here, just a little bit. Eight, good. She's getting tired now, so she's gonna fill probably at around 10. Good. Nine, okay. Two more, I'm gonna help you, and then we're gonna go half reps to the bottom. One more full, one more full. Then half reps to the bottom, half to the bottom. Keep it low, keep going, go. Seven, six, five, go. Four, three, two, one, good. How does that feel? Oh my God. So what that's gonna do is, she failed all the way right to 11. But if you're training with someone on this exercise, then you can do half reps to the bottom and it's gonna really just add so much more blood, blood flow muscle. in the muscle, you're gonna get a yeah. much better pump. So we did yeah, the 11 to failure, plus like eight half reps, right? So you get even more out of the exercise. Yeah. There's a lot of exercises that, that you could do on your own without even having it's so much It's really training. hard to achieve that and to train as hard when you're, you're alone. alone. Yeah, like I wouldn't can... be able to achieve that no, way. No, this exercise, no. No. But there's some exercises that you can do, yeah. you can do alone. That's like hip thrust or like a side lateral, I'm gonna show you in other videos. But there's some exercises where you don't need someone to help you do half reps. Yeah. Maybe you're even like a, a press. But this one, since the weight is above you and you need to pull down, you're not gonna be able to really do it on your own, but that's how you really push the failure. Yeah. One more. That was good, very good. <clears throat> we're, gonna keep the, we're gonna keep the weight the same because she's still in the range, it's perfect. So you can go past the 50 number with half reps, but stay between age 15 with four reps. Once you fail, you can go past, you can go past the 50 with half reps. So there we did, what, 19 total, if you include the full reps and the half reps. Okay, let's go. You're gonna be resting between one to two minutes between every exercise, depending on how big the exercise is. If it's a compound, maybe you wanna rest longer, because your body's gonna be tired. But if it's a little exercise like this, you can do maybe like 60 seconds. Just make sure that you're not resting too long because you're gonna lose your pump. You don't wanna be talking to someone for 15 minutes in a gym, and then do your next set. But try to keep focus at the gym. Don't try talking to people. 60, probably 20 seconds between every set, and that's a, that's a really good range. Yeah, I also notice a big difference for me when the gym is warm, or like when I put a hoodie or something, I keep my pump for like way longer than if it was cold. I, I tune in a gym sometimes, it's very cold. I lose my Here pump it's right warm, away. Though, right? Here it's always warm, it's great. It's like 21 right now, but sometimes they keep the gym at 23. It's a bit too hot, but it keeps the pump going like for the entire workout. Good point. Same in strain bicep, yo. See, if you had straps, your bicep wouldn't be a good Yeah, if I had a strap. Okay, let's go. It's warm in the gym. So this is the fourth, fourth set, third exercise. Dave, come on this side too, just from the front. Get it from the front. Show those lats from the front, good. Perfect form, chest up, good. There's a little swing, but I don't mind a little swing on this exercise. This allowing her to get a really good stretch. Oh, sorry. Good, all the way down, all the way down. Okay, go. Good. Now bring her a little bit here. This is the finisher set, we're gonna go nuts. Go. <sighs> her lots are gonna fall off after this one. Good. Keep going. Three more big ones. <laughs> Squeeze the bottom hard, Tootie. Squeeze. <sighs> one more. Squeeze. Half reps, half reps <sighs> to the bottom. Good. <sighs> Ten. Nine. I'm not helping you go. Squeeze. <laughs> Seven, harder. Six, five, and try harder. Four, three, two, 
Hold the last one five seconds. Hold it, hold it, squeeze. Hold it, hold it. I'm not helping you. Two, one, good. Oh my God. The last one on fire? Yeah. So those sets where you really like go to failure, right? With the four range of motion and then you do these half reps, they're gonna empty your gas tank, your body, your, the muscle that you're training is gonna wanna fucking explode and that's where you're gonna make the gains. If you're just training and you're doing what you're able to do easily, your body doesn't have to adapt. It doesn't have to grow, there's no point. You wanna push it past what you're able to do and then your body's gonna be like, holy shit, I need to grow so I can do this task easier next time. If you're just training, you're doing what you can do. Let's say I'm doing like this, right? Here, record me. Okay, great. Four, five. There's no kind of in there. Yeah, no, but just forget that. Imagine I'm good here, I'm contracting. Great, great, okay. Okay, 10, I'm done. All right, I'm between my rep range. My body's not gonna grow because it doesn't have to. Your body is gonna grow when it has to and you're pushing it past what you're able to do. So what we do with Victoria today, her body, her lats are gonna grow because we're gonna be like, holy shit, this was really hard. I need to adapt. Once again, your body is very smart. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna adapt and it's gonna adjust based on the workload that you give it. And you see, I, I was looking at my watch and my heart rate went up to 163, just doing lat pull down. That's crazy. Which usually doesn't go as yeah, high because nuts. I don't train as hard, but I should. So, so yeah, it's a good one, very good. Third exercise, we did four sets on each. We're at 12 right now. We did a pull down, row, pull down, now we're gonna do another row. So, we're gonna do a cable row. This one, you can use different grips. You can use the like, you can use this grip, a wider grip, you can do with the bar, whatever you like. The most common one is with the, the V handle. And honestly, for me, this is the one I prefer the most to do for this one too. Yeah. But if you want, you can try with the bar, overhand again. Underhand, you can do with the neutral grip with the, with the V, but this is the one I prefer the most. This one, you can get a really good stretch on, we'll show you. So, go ahead. Warm up set. Yeah. What? Warm up set. Yeah, warm up set. Always first set's a warm up set. You gotta test the weight, test the form, everything. So your first set is like not technically part of your three or four set. It should be well, like just your warm it's up. It's four total. First one's gonna be a warm up. Yeah. The next three are gonna be pushing more to failure. So come here, get the back. So she's doing it pretty good, but I want to see. Look, she's getting a decent stretch, but I want even a bigger stretch. So what are you gonna do with the exercise? Go ahead, stretch all the way. Stretch your back. Good. There you go. Now she gets a full stretch and then a full contraction. And the back is all about getting that big stretch in. Perfect. And her form is still perfect. Perfect. Good. Full stretch. Good. As long as her form is perfect on the contraction, right? Her chest is up, shoulders are back, and she's driving her elbows into her hips. That's perfect. It's okay if she's rolling her shoulders forward on the stretch, but the contraction, the form on the contraction needs to be impeccable. This is perfect. Good. Keep going. This exercise, if you don't wear your straps, you're gonna feel a lot of your biceps. You feel your biceps already or no? Oh, I feel it now, but. Yeah. Okay, one up set. Good. Anna, before we start the next set, don't ask your trainer or your coach or whatever, how much weight should I do? It's impossible. The reason that we're doing, well, one of the reasons why we're doing the first set as a, a test or warm up set on every exercise is to test the weight. So we just tested. She was doing 45 here. It was pretty light. She could have done over 15, so that's the test set. That's where you gauge, okay, my form is good. My intensity is okay, and do I need to adjust the weight? Do I need to make it lighter or heavier to get in that rep range, right? So your trainer doesn't know how much weight you can do. It depends on your sleep that day, if you ate before, your energy. There's a million variables that can determine, that are going to determine how much weight you can do on your exercises. So that first set of every exercise is your tester. That's where you test. We did 45, we can go heavier. We saw we can go heavier. So now we're gonna do 65. And some days you're gonna be able to do like, 30% less or 30% more than you did last week. It, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I can lift heavier Depends than other feel. days, depending on how many meals I ate before, if I slept good, if uh, whatever. If it's the day after a rest day, yeah. depends. Good, it's a little bit heavier now. See that full stretch? Look at that full stretch of the lats. Perfect. Then she gets a good contraction. Chest is always up on the contraction. Really good. High and good. How many are we at now? Six, good. I'm not helping you yet. Seven, good. Keep going. Eight. I want you to fill in your own. Okay. Nine. Keep going. Boom. So her shoulders are gonna start rolling forward and she's gonna start, yeah, good. Keep going. Now I'm not helping. So she just failed there on her own. Now that we're doing extra, good. Two extra. Three, keep it just up. Four. Five. Okay. 
No, keep going, keep going. One two more, two more, two more. <sighs> One more. Stretch, track, 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 pull. <sighs> so she just failed there at about nine. But, at about nine. But with me helping her, we did like seven 30. more. No, but sweetie, you failed at nine, and then we had seven more after with me helping yeah. you a little bit. So that seven more, she wouldn't have been able to get on her own, which is going to make a big difference on her gains. Whoa. I'm, my fucking forearms are on fire. Yeah, so that, yeah, so you see her forearms are so pumped, but that's exactly what I was saying. On this exercise especially, if you have the straps, it's gonna help you a lot without engaging your forearms and your biceps. So all the tension, all the resistance is gonna be on your lats, which is what you want. Look how pumped her forearms are. I know, it's but nice. this is not what this is not what we want. But since this is the way it works, you have the way the hand, forearm, bicep, and the lats, you want if you can disengage this part of the body and just focus on the lats with the straps. You're gonna get you're gonna get even more reps in and more weight on your lap, which is what you want to be doing. I need to move my blood. You need to move your blood. Yes. Anyways, I have nothing to say about this. So we're keeping the same weight because she failed at around nine to ten on her own. So why would I go heavier? We're gonna keep it to an eight fifteen. Good. Four. Five. Good. Same thing. She wants to ride the elbows to your hips. Perfect. Keep, keep your elbows close to your body. Good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna help you now. Keep going. Nah. Keep going. You got it on your own. Go. That wasn't a failure. Yet. That wasn't a failure yet. <laughs> now this is the failure on your own. This she can't lift the full. The, she can't complete the full rep. That was a failure. Now we're doing a little bit more. Good. Full stretch. Good. Nah. Don't roll your shoulders too much. Just up. Just up. Four more. Three more. Two more. Pull. One more, one more, yeah. one more. Squeeze, squeeze in, squeeze in. Squeeze, uh. chest up. Very good. Oh my gosh. Look at her back, how red it is. Look at all the blood in her back. Uh, it's rough. Good. Uh. Cool. Once again, there she failed at around 9, 10. That helped her with the last with the last few reps to really, you gotta end to the gas tank when you're training. Are we done? Oh, we'll do one more, we did three sets. Ah. This is a hard exercise. I can't ah. pump your arms out though, it's so fucking funny. I know, I'm, I feel the tingling. Yeah, use straps when you're training back, so. Ah. The only time you might not want to use straps, which is a rare scenario, is if your arms and your, are too small and your back is very big. Because then you can get more out of yeah, your But I mean, true. it's rare if that's happening. And the problem is like, she's not wearing straps right, so let's say her biceps are really tired now and her forearms are really tired. Honestly, it's not so much my bicep right now, it's more my forearm. forearm. Yeah, but that's They're the thing like too. So in the chain, arm. we have her hand, forearm, bicep, and back. Whatever gives out first is where you're going to go to failure. So if, she, if her forearm is weak and she can't pull it anymore because her forearm is giving out, then that's going to ruin the exercise. So you want to negate that, that part so she can focus everything on her back. If her back is the strongest and we're training back, we want to make sure that all the resistance is on her back the whole time. Well, my back didn't fire too now. Yeah. No, I know, Everything. but if your forearm gets out before your back, oh, yeah. then you're wasting gains on your back that you could be having, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's do this. Last one, let's go. You're gonna fail on your own again? Perfect. Hike those elbows in. Pull, oh, come on. Got a few more on you for sure. Good. Keep going. Chest up. I'm pull. You got you got a couple more. Pull. Okay, I that's failure. Okay. Couple more now. Go with me. <sighs> I want your last rep looking exactly <sighs> like like that one, where she can't even lift the weight. Three more. Two more. Come on. Chest up. <sighs> one more. One more. One more. Squeeze hard. Good. Very good. Perfect. You said every exercise. Her last time that she does on her own, she can't physically lift the weight. It's impossible without completely destroying her form. That's what failure means. If you can do, I explain this to my girls so often, but if your last rep, you can complete the full rep, it's not the failure. That's not. No. So like, if we're over here, just like I was over there. If you're over here and you did 10 reps, right? And this is your last rep. Oh, okay. 10. That's not the failure, right? The last rep should look like this. You can't, you literally can't lift it anymore. You can't lift it anymore like that. And then your failure. This, if this is your last rep, that's not failure at all, and you're not going to make gains. The last rep should be impossible to perform on your own. Last rep in every set. That's it. Besides yeah. the warm-up set. Yeah. So the last exercise we did with the pull-down was a wide grip and an overhand grip, right? So now 
the reason I'm choos choosing this exercise, this machine, is because it has a little bit of a closer grip and neutral position on the handles, right? So instead of doing two or three exercises that are very similar, so we, I, I could have done no brand. So let's say I would have chose this exercise here, right? Look, which is like a pull-up machine. It would have been the same, almost basically as a lap pull down. Why overhand? But instead, we want to keep it up a little bit. We're still doing a pull down, but we're doing neutral grip and a little bit closer, just so that we can hit them back in different ways. You don't want to be doing the same exercise four different times, right, in, in a yeah. workout. Yeah. So it's still a pull down, but now we're closer grip and we're more neutral. Different so, variations. Different variations, exactly. So that, we're hitting, so that we're hitting every part of our back in different ways in the last. You're still going to be training the last, so that's the whole point of the exercise. But just getting a little bit of variation is going to help your overall development. Perfect. Once again, I've done this before too, and the straps make a huge difference on this web. They probably don't have to change the gym, but let's say what you could do is you could do a pull down. So you do the wide grip, and now if you want to use the, the V pull down, it's almost the same as using this, right? Still overhead, and it's full strip. Good. 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 Chest up, don't roll your shoulders. Two more. One more. Okay, stop. First set, warm up set, test the weight. Weight's good? Yeah. I think the weight's pretty good. I'm getting weaker as the workout is going. What? I'm getting weaker as the workout yeah, is going. Yeah, you're tired. Your back's a big muscle, so I yeah. mean, it's not like training arms. Like your back, like, it's gonna take a lot out of you. It's like training legs, right? Like, yeah. after you do sumos or deadlifts, whatever, your body's tired because you're just like draining your energy. But if you train shoulders or arms, I mean, they're a lot smaller muscles and it's not gonna really exhaust you as much. No. So we did first first set, strike the weight, weight's good. Yeah. Form's still good, exercise feels good. Should we keep it there for now? Yeah. So I'm gonna let her fail on her own and then I'm gonna help her get a few more in. So your last rep of the exercise that you're doing should look exactly like her last rep is gonna look like on here on her own. Feel safe. See how she's getting a full stretch, she's leaning forward when she stretches, and then full contraction. Same thing on every exercise you saw. Full big stretch for the lats, and then contraction with the chest up. Good. Perfect. And you see how her back is so developed, and symmetrical too, and dense and wide. So, Dave, come in the front. I want you to watch her fail. Watch. You got one more, pull it. Good. Pull fast, hard. Good. You got it. Good, keep going. Keep going, pull. Good. Keep going, good. You got it. We got it. Keep going, good. Keep going, come on. Three more, you got it on your own. Pull, pull Vic, pull, yeah. good, two more. Pull fast. Good, one more. One more, one more. Not failure yet, you're still doing the full rep. You're still doing the full rep, come on. Pull, pull. I can't. Okay, you're done. That's the failure. Oh. So the last rep, I'm kept, I just keep saying one more, one more, one more, because she completed the rep, right? The second she can, she's trying to pull down for four seconds, five seconds, and she really physically can't, then that's the failure. A lot of people, they would have been struggling on like, let's say uh, rep nine, where she like pulled it, but she was like very much forcing. They would have been struggling, like, okay, I'm done, that was it. But we did five more, right? Yeah, because I think a lot is mental too. It's all mental. So you see like, I was done, but then you were like, no, you still have more. And then I went like, I don't know. I just if told you were on your own pull. there, you probably would have stopped. I right? would have stopped for sure. Yeah, but I was like, Dick, help. just me telling just her to pull, go, pull, pull. it's all mental. And yeah. people stop a lot their, of it is mental. people stop their set when they feel like, it's like tension or it gets start to get hard. When it you gets hard, but you know what? You're gonna make the gains. You're gonna make the gains. Once it's hard, hard, you're gonna make the gains. Exactly. Those last five reps that she did are gonna make so much more gains than the rest of her, her 100%. set. 100%. You should start once it gets hard, not stop there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's where you're gonna make all the gains. But it's hard to do that on your own. That's why having a partner is good sometimes. It's I actually like I enjoy it right now because but, I don't push myself as hard on my own. You're right, but yeah. a professional athlete knows how to do something. Oh yes, yeah, for sure. All the professional bodybuilders that train on their own, they, they're able to get there mentally on their own. That makes you a professional. Yeah. Okay? Obviously, you can get a trainer to help yourself too to get into that point, but you should still be able to train to absolute failure on your own. Yeah. And as a professional, I mean, that's part of your job. You gotta be able to train, you gotta be able to push yourself to that point mentally, right? Even though you don't want to. Yeah. Okay? Okay, let's go, two more. Good. One more. Good. 
Is that a your edge? Is that a your edge? Good. Still doing full range of motion. Good. Oh. Look at her stretch. Look at her stretch. Perfect. And make your traction your chest up. <sighs> Perfect. The door is full and everything is impeccable. <sighs> Keep going. Keep going. Tell me when you're going to stop, okay? Keep going. On your own, go. I'm going to let her stop at her own and I'm going to push her a few more. Keep going. <laughs> you got it. Two more. Come on. Focus. Oh, one more. You got it. Pull it. You got it. You got it. Keep going. <sighs> one more. Pull. My hands are. Pull. Doesn't matter. Go. My hands are. Five seconds to get back on. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep going. With the straps, you wouldn't have this problem. My hands are. Go. <sighs> Keep going. Pull. Let's stop. Pull, Vic. It's the last set. It's the last set of the whole back. Let's go. Eight more. Eight more. Eight. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's go. Pull. I can my hands. You can. Okay. Re my grip. Hands. Re grip. Re grip. I can my Re grip. Hands. Three, two, one. Start. Eight. Don't stop. We're going to restart. Eight. Seven. And chest up. Six. Five. Got it. Four more. Her back's burning right now. Two more. One more. Good. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Oh, shit. Now her back's on fire. I can't feel myself. If you know you just have a couple more sets of your exercise, this is the last one, just give the like, empty the tank. Everything, let it all go. And you're Everything done. is heavy right now. Yeah. Look at her forearms. It's but you see how she was losing grip there? Yeah. You see, at the end, she was losing her grip on. We had to. I told her to take a second because My hands were I didn't sitting. want her exercise to fail or be done because of her grip strength. Right? Then it just defeats the whole purpose. No. I want her exercise to be done when her back is done. So with the straps, she wouldn't have that issue with the grip strength. So that's why I said, take a break, take your hands off, keep going through the set. That wasn't done yet. So good. Now we're gonna do one rear delt exercise and one bicep exercise. Usually do two, but we'll just do one one, and then we're gonna be good to go. So this is my favorite rear delt machine or exercise, but you can, there's a million you can do. Do face pulls, you can do even this with dumbbells if you want, but once again, make sure your back's at 90 degrees. But we're gonna do this one because it's my favorite one. I'm gonna show you how to go to failure and proper form on this too. So once again, first set warm up set. Let's go. You wanna keep your arms extended, don't bend your elbows too much. Perfect. Wait. Too light or too heavy? Too heavy. Keep your elbows locked. Don't bend your elbows on this exercise. Perfect, good. And this too, I see so many people, go ahead. They stop here, they stop here. This is not, you need to get a stretch, this sucks. Full stretch, full contraction. Full stretch, full contraction. And never go past this point. This is all, this, come here, this is all rhomboids, look at this. This is all traps. So here she's engaging all of her traps. Don't go past, don't go past that point, go ahead. Perfect, that's it, and full stretch. That's all you gotta do. Perfect, good. And that's all targeting the rear delts. Feeling your rear delts? Good. Perfect. Full range of motion, excellent. You don't want to be engaged in these muscles. She's not here. It's because her scapula is moving and it looks like it is, but is she? Sure. Go all the way back, sweetie. This is engaged. That's what you don't want that. You don't want to build those traps. Good. That was warm up set. I'm really weak in my rear delts. This exercise is really easy to fill your yeah. own too because your rear delts are very weak and very small muscle. And you're gonna know when you literally can't lift it off the machine. But you're gonna seal it. She's very tired now. Yeah, my rear delts are not very strong. <laughs> and it's rough. And whenever you're training back to it, you're gonna be hitting your rear delts also. So I like putting these at the end of the exercise because they're already gonna be tired and worn out from training back. Because they are gonna take over a little bit while you're training just because of the movement. But this is a good rear delt ice layer that I really like. And it's easy to do on your own and it's very low injury rate, so, okay, let's go. We're gonna keep the weight the same because that was a good, that was a good set. It's a good warm-up set. Performer is impeccable on every exercise. Good. Perfect. Perfect stretch. Yeah, I wanna show you something. You wanna go, the stretch, just so that the weight barely touches, right? Perfect, that's a full stretch, keep going. If the weight touches, keep going. I'm gonna show you on mine. I'll show you an example on mine. Go, two more, two more. You see she's failing right now? 
She's failing. She can't do a full rep, so do half reps. Half reps at the end. Good. Good. Five, four, three, two, one more. Perfect. So she there, she, she failed, right? She couldn't do any more, but this is one of the exercises that you can really push yourself to failure and do half reps on your own. Obviously on those big exercises, she can't do half reps on her own, but on this one where you have control over it, you can do half reps on your own, no problem, and really get most Yeah, you don't, you don't need to help me. Yeah, I don't get help my last, uh, my last I want to show you, I want to show you what to do and what not to do. So the full stretch was like this, right? She goes like this. The weight doesn't touch, but it's so, so close, just like that. That means you're gonna go full stretch it. If the weight's touching, you don't want to do that because you're taking the resistance off You always want to keep attention. Yeah, you always want to keep tension on your muscle. That's, you don't want to be so, you have some people that like, they train like this. Take tension off. Take tension off. No, you want to have tension the entire set from start to finish. So the maximum that you can do is right here without taking tension off, right? So that's what you want to do on every exercise. And the lat pull down too, on every exercise that has like a, a staff like this, that's where you want to go. Just where so belly touches, it doesn't rest. You don't want to, you want to take tension off the muscle. And don't do these like two second pauses. Like I see some girls doing like leg press and they'll like push and, and then they'll watch their knees to the top, give themselves a break and then go back down. Don't do that. Keep tension on the muscle the whole time. Don't take shortcuts during your set. Push your set all the way through. Don't take breaks. Don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like yep. don't walk your knees out. Like don't do Form that. is everything. Yeah, form you know? and keeping tension on the muscle the entire time. Yeah. But don't give your body a break. Okay, let's go. Like more. you see like right now, I'm performing every set to complete failure only with a 30 pound, only with 30 pounds. So it doesn't need to be heavy for you to perform the set, the failure. your set the way you should. If she started with this exercise, maybe she could have went to 60 pounds versus 30. Yeah. But now she's so tired that she can. So that's why asking your coach, what weight should I do is irrelevant, right? That's actually fact. But that's why, so yeah. that's why the first set of exercise, the test, test exercise, sorry, test set, and yeah, that's how, you, that's how you gauge how much weight you should be doing. Go ahead, two more sets on this. Excellent. Come here, Dave, I wanna show you. Look at the weight, look at the weight, how it goes. That's as much stretch as you should get. So the pause, as if you're doing it wrong, then go. This is exactly what you don't wanna do. Do it again. Then she's taking tension off, there, there's no tension right now on her, on her rear delt. So never do that in, during any exercise. Go ahead. Good. Perfect. Look at her form. So on every exercise too, you want to have as good posture as you can. So stick your butt out a little bit, arc your lower back a little bit, keep your chest up and roll your shoulders back. On every exercise you do, keep that perfect form. Chest up, shoulders back, and lower back out just a little bit so you have just really good posture. And that's gonna ensure that you have really good form. Good, keep going, keep going. Good. So she failed on her own now, now she's doing these half reps. I'm not barely helping her. Keep going. Keep going. Five more. Four. Three. Keep going. Keep going until you can't lift the weight off the uh, machine. Go. I can't. Keep going. Keep going. Push. I can't. It doesn't okay, that's go. It. Oh. Good. Okay, she's done. She's done. I'm done. Done? I'm done. Okay, one bicep exercise. Do two, but we're doing one today. Last exercise, we're going to do um, easy bar. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Last exercise, we're going to do easy bar bicep curls. I'm choosing this one because it's going to be really easy to show you guys how to go to failure on this one, and that could help her too. So you can do like a wider grip, you can do closer, it depends on how you feel. I like personally the wider because the shorter one hurts my, my wrist, but you can try this one and go ahead. Like that? One Just second, right the form is exactly the same on every exercise. Chest up, shoulders back, lower back arch a little bit so that her chest is really high and really tight. So if you compare this form to her form on the, the row machine, it's exactly the same, her chest is the same. Her chest is off, high, shoulders back, butt out a little bit, right? She's just bending at the hips. You really wanna keep the high chest all the time. The high chest is gonna force you to use the muscle that you're trying to work. Perfect, keep going. And this not will, swing, yes. I'm not using momentum to lift the weights. This is a warm up set once again. I'm gonna let her fail on her own and then we're gonna go from there. I wanna show you guys one thing after this, just quickly, quick little tip. Go. It's getting rough. Go, you got it. Watch this, I can hold her chest up, she's gonna fail, watch this, go. So I'm forcing her, I'm forcing her in perfect I form. I can't even lift. Exactly, go lift it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the second you force yourself in perfect form, you're gonna, your body's gonna have to use the muscle that you're training and you can't lift it. Uh, but if, if I let her lean over a little bit, she wouldn't be able to do a little bit more, but one keep that If form. I would use momentum, it would be easy to exactly. lift the weight that you are. You can do a little bit of momentum if you want, as long as you're not, like this is an isolation exercise, right? 
you make it, if you use a lot of momentum, you make it a little bit of front delt, but not really. But if you want to just get a couple in more, you could swing a little bit, but don't overdo it. So I want to show you something quickly while she's resting between the set. On any exercise like this, where you have a pad or like even a machine, like the machines where you like this, don't fully stretch your bicep out like this with the weight at the bottom, because it's gonna, <laughs> you might tear your bicep like this. On this is fine, your foot dumbbells is fine. But anything where your arm is locked like this, don't fully extend your bicep like this at the bottom. Stop like right here. You're gonna have all the resistance here on the stretching motion at the bottom here, and you might get a bicep tear, you gotta be careful. I actually tore my bicep on that machine over there doing the same thing. I went all the way down, and I, I just, it tore right at the bottom on the stretch. So just go like there, stop right there. On these are fine, this is fine, but anything where you have a pad, whether it's machine or free dumbbells, don't stretch all the way down. Just a little tip while she's resting. Okay, let's go. I wanna show you something, so go ahead. So I'm gonna show you if I really force her to keep her chest up really high, how fast she's gonna fail on this exercise. So I'm rolling her shoulders back, squeezing her scapula just a little bit back to keep her shoulders up and keeping her chest up. She's gonna fail a lot quicker. I'm forcing her to be in perfect form. Good. Lauren? No toe. Lauren? Go. Pull. Fucker, squeezing me. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Lift. <laughs> Lift, Victoria. Okay, look, she's failing, right? Good. No, it's not failure yet. You got one more. Keep going. Okay, I'm forced to you're in perfect form. I'm gonna go. punch you right now. You're not gonna punch nothing. Go. She still has more. Go. Keep going. Keep going. This is perfect form. It's a force here. Go. You got it. Let's go. Okay, this is failure. Now watch. I'm gonna like over, and she's gonna be able to do a couple more. Go. Victoria. Okay, she's really there to fail. So she kept, she still kept her perfect form, right? Because I was forcing her once I let go. But if she did a little bit of a swing, they are like thinking of her chest so high. If I would have swing, for sure yeah, I would have exactly. been able to do that. Exactly. So if you just squeeze your, turn around. On any exercise, right? Squeeze your scapula just a little bit. Roll your shoulders back. Keep your chest up. And you're forcing your body in perfect, your, your perfect posture. You're forcing your body to utilize the muscles that you're training. So lap pull out, same thing, chest up. Right, roll, chest up. Even when you're training legs, squats, everything, you want to put it forward. If you're doing squats where your fucking shoulders roll forward, or deadlifts, your shoulders roll forward, right? Like this. Think of every exercise you're doing, even lateral raises, like this. Your chest is up, shoulders back, everything. You have always the same form with your body in every exercise. And if you have the good habit, you're going to build muscle a lot quicker, and you're going to prevent a lot of injury too. If you have good form, the chances that you get injured is much lower than if you have shitty form. This is how she stays in shape all year. She's I think pro, but she doesn't compete in what, two, three years? What? The last time you competed was when? Three years ago or two years December ago? December 2021. So two years, she hasn't competed. And look how in, state, in shape she stays all the time. She, she, eats, she eats what she wants, right? But she just eats healthy. She's not following the meal plan, she's not following any set thing, but she's just, her lifestyle is Eat looking clean. this good all the time. And she's yeah. like she's eight weeks off from the show. And Victoria can get chubby, trust me. Yeah. She can get chubby. I thought she has good genetics, but I've seen her chubby before. She's, but she's keeping her lifestyle in. You see how she's rolling her, her elbows a little bit forward? Keep her elbows tucked in your back. Tuck them in. Tuck them in backwards. Watch this. Keep going. Fuck. Go. Mm. Now I'm tucking her elbows in, but she won't be able to lift it. Go. It's fucking rough. Okay, now I'm gonna help her. See, the second I let go, she was able to lift it, but that's because I'm forced her to be in perfect form. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going, I'm helping you. It just gives me the weight. Go. I'm done. I've never seen that before. Go. <laughs> Let's go, focus, chest up. Finish this. Chest up. Fast, fast, we'll be quite fast, quite fast, let's go, fast. Swing a little bit, it's okay. Keep your elbows tucked in, tuck in your elbows, chest up. Mm. Two more. Keep your elbows tucked in, tuck your elbows. <laughs> Good. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't. Her body's really tired now, so that's to be a little bit sloppy, but. Do I have a little pump? You gotta finish one more. Just do a back double bicep. Look at that. Fully natty too. Nothing and nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Just diet, training, and being consistent. Honestly, it's really the diet that food. Like yeah. I eat so clean all the time. Cause if I eat crap or whatever, I feel like shit. So I but avoid. It's a lifestyle, right? Yeah, she, it's my lifestyle. She didn't cut to do this. She just no. her lifestyle is maintaining this, and you're not hungry all the time, right? No. 
But it's I'm just, never hungry. Yeah, exactly. So, but it, no. I, she got chubby a little bit. Like, was it last year? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it was after. So I turned pro in December 2021, and then I thought I was gonna maybe compete. So I started to gain more weight to get into a like a bulk season. You got a little bit too bulky. But I got too bulky, and I really felt uncomfortable. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's cut this. Okay. All right, guys, last set of the day, fourth set of this, let's go. I'm going to let her fail on her own, then I'm going to help her get a little bit of into the tank on the end. Perfect. Elbows are tucked in perfectly. Once she starts going to failure, she's going to start being a little bit sloppier. Just a little bit forward, her elbows are going to be a little bit more forward, so try to keep it perfect form as long as you can. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in, chest up. And don't hand me the weight this time when you go to failure. Right? Sure, it's fine. Those elbows tucked in. I'm gonna help you. Keep them tucked in. It's getting hard. Keep going. Just stop. Just stop. Eight more. Don't swing. I'm gonna help you. Keep perfect form. Good. Six more. Don't stop. We're gonna restart. <laughs> stop bending your knees and swinging. Go. Four more. Thank you. She's tired, so she's taking shortcuts now. But let's go. Keep your chest up. I'm gonna help you. Good, like that. Good. Three more. Two more. Ooh. Last up of the day. Tuck it in. Perfect form. I'm going to help you. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. I don't care if it takes five seconds to get this thing up. It's more. <laughs> tuck it in. Tuck it in. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. We didn't go to sale here. Go. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Come on. Good. Last one, big. Come on. Lift it. Okay, she can. Good. Failure. Good job. <clears throat> We gave her like four or five seconds to lift that weight and she couldn't. That's the good thing. If you lift it for one second, and you're like, oh, that's fair. No. Really force yourself, because usually you can get a couple more in, and that's what you're going to make the game. So, good job today. Okay. High five. Good job. I don't know what that thing was at the end, but Thank we you. do. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. But I hope this was useful. I want to teach you guys how to train more to failure. I, I check every training of all my athletes, and a lot of them don't understand the concept of really pushing to failure. So I hope this video helps you guys understand what we're really pushing to failure. Means that's how you're going to look like Victoria all the time. Thank you. Good.